here's a new file. Uh, let's place our sketch here on the artboard. And let's adjust it to be of the size that we want it to be. And this layer, I will double click it for options and convert it to a template layer, which will lock it and will dim the images to 50%. So now this will not be clickable and movable. Then I will make a new layer, and this is where I'll do all of my build work. Change the color to light blue, that's a personal preference. Then I will import my graphic styles. Um, which you don't have to, uh, but if you have a preference, then do that. Um, the build will have no fill and the uh, um, stroke of 0 0.5 points and of this dark magenta color. Uh, so it, this is kind of like using a pencil. You just uh, build it instead of sketching it, but everything is uh, uniform and of one color. So let's start by building this hat shape. I use the pen tool, which is P for a shortcut, and I just place the points on peaks and valleys and corners. I can make smooth points uh, if I hold down the left mouse button and just drag to the side. You don't have to do it, you can just build corner um, anchor points uh, and worry about smoothness later. Uh, let's close this path. Now I select the direct selection tool, uh, the hotkey is A, and I select this anchor point because this is where it's really messed up right now. Now if I drag this handle, it will affect the other handle as well, this one. Uh, which in turn means that I'm affecting not only this segment, but also this one. I don't want that to happen, so I use the converter tool, uh, shift C, and I drag this handle separately. Once I do it, I can use the direct selection tool and drag this handle without any uh, movement on the other one's part. Then I do the same for all the other anchor points and handles. I just kind of fix everything to the way I want it to be. So that's kind of it. Let's fix this one too so you can see what I mean. And there. That's close enough. Let's not go and build a perfect one. This is good. Um, another thing that you need to know is you can add um, anchor points and remove them anytime you want to. So let's use the pen tool and create some um, shape. Right? Now the hotkey is plus. Uh, if you click anywhere on the path with this tool, it will add anchor points. To remove anchor points, you use the remove anchor points tool, which is minus for hotkey, and just click on the points you want to delete. Like that. And that's kind of it for point by point building. That's how I'm going to uh, build this whole artwork. But I'm not going to worry about it being perfect out of the gate because I will be readjusting a whole bunch of stuff later on with um, Pathfinder tools. Um, but the most important thing for you is to understand where you place, where you need to place the anchor points and work with the handles to make the curves the way you want to. It's really easy to see when you already have a sketch, you just kind of place the points on the corners and peaks and valleys if you um, think of it as a function. Um, but yeah, this is it.